Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page six and seven. These are gonna be mirror images of each other, much like page two and uh, three. Um, and I'm doing that because I'm loving the images and I don't really wanna cut through them. So you're gonna start both pages with six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight. These are gonna be mirror images of each other. And you're gonna need a four, got too much glue on my hand, four by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides to form a pocket. There we go. Okay, so the image that I chose for this is the beautiful houses. So we're gonna do half of the 12 by 12 here and half of the 12 by 12 over here. And I just love this picture, so I think you guys will too. Very simple pages, but beautiful images. And then the um, B sides are, are gonna be a little bit easier to work with in terms of placing photos. And I've made sort of the A sides the decorative part. And that will be pretty obvious when I'm done with this page. So again, six and a half by eight, score half inch on the six and a half inch side for your first panel. We're gonna use um, a single magnet to Keep everything nice and neat and inside the pocket. <clears throat> there we go. And basically this is the same design as page two and three. All the measurements, all the cuts are the same. So two, three, six, seven, all have the same cut list. Oh, good grief, sticky. And it's pretty obvious why when you see the, the images. Okay, all right, so for the pocket, I've got this, lovely. On uh, the B side here, we've got this beautiful tree, and you can totally see putting a, a picture on top of this. I don't have any trouble with that at all. It'll make it for a nice background. This, um, I don't like having a face, if, if I can avoid it, on the um, same page as my picture, because oftentimes um, there are people in my pictures, and I don't want the face of my picture to compete with the face of the print. So that's just kind of a rule of thumb for me. Some people don't, it doesn't bother them. I don't like it. Okay, and then our last piece is this beautiful pink here, which you can definitely see putting a photo on, right? It's a little bit bigger than I need, so I'm going to trim it down a little bit. I don't have to put so much of it in the pocket. I originally rough cut it so I wouldn't accidentally repurpose it for something else. We're gonna repeat this process for page seven in a mirror. And as you can see, it's going quite quickly. That's why I put page six and seven together on a single video. There's really no difference. 
um, in the layouts or the, the cut list. Get in there. <laughs> Okay. All right. And then I've already done these um, inserts. These inserts are seven by seven and I put a decorative corner on it. And it goes against the pink nicely. So I'm just going to repeat that process right now with page seven. Start by putting our flaps in. I want to make sure my orientation is correct. As I mentioned previously, I am building out of order. But I did, I did indicate the build uh, sequence in the title of the video. I can't remember who asked me that, but I, that was a brilliant suggestion. I had not really thought of it before. I'm just gonna start gluing stuff down. We still have to add the pocket, but I gotta dig around for it. Uh, everything I'm doing here is 12 by 12. I hadn't previously mentioned it, both on the A and B side of the six inch flap, six and a half inch flap, sorry. So these are from the 12 by 12. Um, this is from the scrapbook pack. And actually the B side is also from the scrapbook pack, but I'm not gonna lay that down just yet because we still have to place our magnets. So, uh, sorry. I'm looking for my pocket. Here it is. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. This is going to go on the right edge, page seven. All right. Alrighty, I did the same thing here. We've got that seven by seven, excuse me, insert. And then lastly, the pink is going to lay in between and it's too big, so we'll trim that down. When you're, when you're designing, um, 
for a pocket, it's always good to keep this pretty basic because the idea would be that the insert is where you want to draw the attention to and the back of the pocket becomes sort of a frame around the insert. So I try to keep it um, simple and do something, you know, fabulous on the insert or that's also where the photos are. So then your insert acts as a frame and then the back of the pocket acts as a secondary frame. A frame in a frame, so to speak, or a mat in a mat. Why don't you want to go in there? It's very tight. But it fits. It's getting hung up on the um the flange of the pocket. It'll fit, it's just tight. There we go. Okay, here's our insert. Again, the inserts for page six and seven are both uh, seven by seven. So you see there's a frame, and then if you had a picture here, this would create a frame around it as well. So there we go. Now I'm going to put them side by side so you can see why I wanted to keep the flap simple so we could preserve this image. So again, this is from the 12 by 12 scrapbook pack. Uh, so is this. This is from Patterns, Patterns, and Patterns. And, and this is also 8 by 8 in, on both sides. So lovely. I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, my next step is to get everything inside the book and do a walkthrough.